I bring to you a lullaby from the bravest space traveler that ever lived. You left this earth 10 years ago in search of distant comets. Then last November's headline news was that you landed on it. We knew that there was something wrong when we saw your battery. But thank Newton, you weren't running any eye technology. <laughs> so now I sing a lullaby and I dedicate to thee the bravest little fridge-sized probe in all the galaxy. Sleep well, little Phile, you fulfilled your destiny. Four billion miles on the clock to do a science on a rock. Your jump down from Rosetta, it was so good, you jumped again and again. We low gravity, but when you came to land, it wasn't quite what Issa planned. So you deployed the best technology from 2004. <laughs> but that didn't stop you getting all the data you went for. The newsrooms of the BBC resounded with the echo of presenters wrestling with these words. Ch -ch 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 Gary Lineker Menko. <laughs> We watched with rising horror as your batteries ran cold. Your solar panels, it turns out, don't work so well down a hole. <laughs> now the only true space cowboys are Jimmy Riquai and you. Maybe Bruce Willis too. <laughs> like a miracle, you woke up when the sun came into view. So you used your last battery to send a tweet. <laughs> Which of us wouldn't? <laughs> so sleep well, my little Phile. You fulfilled your destiny. You rocked that rock. And that's how you roll on Comet 67. Thank you very much.